What's going on guys? Noobstracker here from Uncharted bringing you another war recap and as you can probably see I dropped almost 1600 trophies since the last video because champs loot sucks. Uh, okay so this past war was against our first Turkish clan actually. Uh, they were really bad attackers they actually used their, most of their attacks, but they were horrible attackers. Um, initially, when we first matched them, I was pretty ticked off because I just saw that they have a Town Hall 10 and then four Town Hall 9s. And we have zero Town Hall 10s and two Town Hall 9s, so I was like, oh my god, this is an awful match. And it did end up being an awful match, but it was heavily in our favor. Because I figured that out as soon as I saw that their number three had a level two spell factory. He's a Town Hall 9 with a level two spell factory. So at that point, you're like, yep, good win, guys. On to the next one. Uh, so we got all but two stars. And that that would have been another star if I would have got one more percent. whoop de doo um, that's just because dealing with infernos, it's kind of a pain sometimes. So yeah, I'll show you all the, well, most of the other attacks. Uh, this base, I decided that it was good for surgical, and I wanted to practice, and we were already going to win at this point. So I drop a giant down, and then two hogs on each of those two defenses, just to get the pull, and to make sure both those defenses go down for pathing. Archer in the corner to anchor. See, those hogs stayed alive that long. So there's plenty to get through that. So anchor in the corner with an archer. Uh, standard kill squad goes down. Two barbs, a uh, wizard, two witches. Then I drop another wizard of my own and my queen to go behind it. And then I start the funnel. Actually, I drop the golem. And then I start the funnel behind it. And I go ahead and put the jump spell. I probably could put the jump spell through both compartments, but I didn't want to risk it. I just decided to put it on that one compartment because that was all that was needed. Uh, funnel goes down. I did a good job creating the funnel. And as soon as I see the king go inside and aggro onto the queen, I start the surgical portion of my attack. Uh, so I don't drop a giant right there just because there's nothing protecting it then. I keep going counterclockwise around the base, dropping just a giant and then two to three hogs per defensive building around the base and then heal spells once they get closer to the core and same thing and then from the top I kind of forgot that I oh my bad from the top I kind of forgot that I had another giant left uh, and I let those hogs get exposed at the top but it doesn't matter there's hogs everywhere um, it's such a flashy attack this is just the this is just the third time I've tried surgical and this was the first time it's actually worked out to be a three star for me so I was pretty happy with that one of the other two, I've just ran out of time. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and speed it up. Plenty of hogs left. Ooh, I do almost panic for a second. They get hit by a random giant bomb on the outside here in a second. I think it's right after this. Mm, yep, I'm like, oh, no, but it's okay. They don't have anything else. See, so, yeah, I just clean up from there. Yeah, it made me happy, though, because surgical hogs are fun. They're really effective, and they're super flashy. Hmm. Yay, work. See ya, Beamer. Going on down the list. Uh, Nathan's attack versus number three. Uh, Rush Town Hall 9. But nonetheless, a Town Hall 9. Uh, goes ahead and gets the Clan Castle pull with a couple loons, or well, just one loon. Uh, standard kill squad goes down, except he likes to have his with more wizards. Personal preference, either way. Uh, drops all of the hounds down. The only critique right here is that. I wouldn't have done that third hound yet because it's not tanking for anything. It's just kind of chilling on that air defense. See how nothing is shooting that ha that bottom hound except for that air defense, or well, and the arch tower. But it's not tanking for anything. It's just dying. But still, a nice attack, Nathan. Um, there's plenty of balloons left to keep sweeping through that base. Clean up with minions, pups, and heroes, and it's GG. So good job, man. Nice walls on that Town Hall 9, also. Uh, moving down the list, number 4 was E-Kid. Ooh, man, look at this 
very strategic air defense placement, guys. Uh, just put your air defense all outside your walls. They won't know what to do. Because you can't just drop dragons right on air defenses. Everybody knows that. So he just drops his very strategically and takes out all the air defenses pretty quickly. And from there, it's just slaughter. So you get the three star, probably got most heroic, and you get a crap ton of loot. Hooray, bad bases. Man, he wasted those walls too. His walls aren't that bad compared to the other people in his clan. But yeah, only three people in their entire clan had level three dragons. These guys were bad. If you had to attack your equivalent in war, these guys probably would have got like 17 stars at best. They swung so low. They didn't attack any of our Town Hall 8s to like, oh gosh, gotta pause this. I really like this attack. But yeah, they didn't hit any of our Town Hall 8s to like six hours into the war because they were that scared of just Town Hall 8s. Uh, this is a King Ray's attack. It's a Town Hall 8 versus a... Uh, we'll call this base a Town Hall 8. I don't think he's built any of his new defenses. And... um. Well, I think he built that. He built the new wizard tower, but it's very low level. So yeah, what he's what King Ray's doing here actually is a Goho as a town hall eight, and that's nice to see because it's very effective at town hall eight. I mean, you can see that he three starred this base with level two hawks. Uh, so standard kill squad goes down two witches, a barb, and then I, uh, he doesn't even drop a wizard of his own. He's like, yeah, I don't need it. Uh, he also brought a P.E.K.K.A. to do a little bit of damage here with the initial go portion of the attack. Uh, very good job with the wall breakers. Gets through, gets two compartments deep with it. And if you can get that deep with wall breakers on an attack like this, you know it's going to be game over. The Golem does circle, but that is okay because P.E.K.K.A. goes inside. Uh, that was a really good test hog. Took out that giant bomb and then... It's a one finger drop of hogs since he only has 15 of them, and they're going to stay together very nicely for the majority of this attack. Uh, you see a few stragglers right there, but it was actually really nice that they split like that because he had just enough to take out those defenses on the right side. So, uh, good heal spell timing. Uh, it's going to get his hogs through every defense except for those two low level Teslas and that level one wizard tower, which aren't going to do anything. Uh, he's still got both witches alive. He's still got a Golemite. He's still got that P.E.K.K.A. He's still got full health King with his ability. And he's still got some hogs left. So that was just complete overkill. Town Hall 8 Goho with level 2 hogs. So nice work, King Ray. Good job, man. We like seeing those more advanced attacks. Because especially those attacks that will help you later on. I do Goho all the time at Town Hall 9. Alright, we got Banana verse number 6. Uh, I think a lot of people, well not a lot, I know at least two people three-starred this base, because I know Austin did as well. So I guess Banana did it a little faster. Or Supercell Sexist, and just said hers was better because she's the girl. But, that's probably not the case, but yeah. Uh, so a good spread of drags over there. Uh, Loons going into the core. The loons will probably die before they take out these air defenses, but that's okay because her dragons are spread out very well. Just nice pathing with the drags, just staying perfectly in a line throughout the entire base. Man, he must had all his defenses in little lines. Good rage there on the town hall to get those dragons pushed through that building. And then last air defense goes down, and it's game over from there. Just a little bit of cleanup. Oh man, the archer tower. Those two archer towers almost got it. Archer towers can be a pain, as you've seen from some of our past replays, our past war recaps, I should say. See so yeah, how it could work, banana. Down to number seven. This was Shrek. This is actually a decent base design. His sweeper's facing. Well, I guess I guess you want the sweeper facing that way, but it's still. So you know what you're doing. Uh, so top left, spread a drag, line of drags. Uh, CC troops come out. Wizards probably be raising them here in a second. I oh, know Shrek likes to hold his spells, so no, not yet. He's gonna wait till he hits that clan castle, most likely, to rage them. Loon should be going down as soon as the sweeper goes down. Mm, maybe. 
maybe. Maybe. Oh, a little bit late with the loon drop, but still good work. They're going to go right into that core and just tear it up because there's only one other defense in there than the air defenses. So, yeah, look at that. He got all of that with the balloons, that whole core with the balloons. So, yeah, balloons are attack savers. Oh, God, that was the one where he only used one spell. Nice work, Shrek. That's demoralizing. Probably one of their best, well, one of their better base designs, and he three-started with one spell. YOLO, man. Uh, Banks versus number eight. The skeleton of this base can actually be a good uh, actually be a good base, but putting those two air defenses in the core is a bad idea because then you can just do straight up drag balloon and they don't have to even change anything with their attack. Uh, so good spread from the bottom. He's gonna avoid that air sweeper. Once the drags get through that elixir storage. And inside, take out that first line. It should be clear. Should be dropping his loons. Yep. As soon as this mortar will go down, then and cannon will go down, then they'll go straight into that core. The only thing I don't like about this one is that late CC aggro. Uh, but he's got plenty of dragons in there, and that was nice saving that raid spell for them and the loons because that way the raid spell could speed those dragons up to take out the CC troops faster and speed the loons up. So yeah, um, good work. The loons don't get the last air defense, but that's okay because the dragons are right there to finish it off. And now mm. we've got, oh, text message. And now we've got three dragons left to clean the rest of this base. And it's GG, as Jake would say. Hooray, Jake. So good job, thanks. Banks again, verse number nine. Oh man, what a town hall night. I'm gonna do this times four. A minute and 23 seconds. Gosh, man, some of these guys were just so bad. So yeah, good spread of drags. Balloons in the core. This pace is so bad, it doesn't even matter. Good job, Banks. Gonna get that nice war loot too, just because it's a town hall nine. Shout out to Supercell's matchmaking for giving us all these crummy Town Hall 9s. Uh, Shrek verse number 10. Meh, another meh layout. He's got the right idea with the sweeper, except he's does, he only has two high hit point buildings protecting his dragons from that side. So yeah, uh, that's not going to work. All you got to do is rage them once they get to those Town Hall and clan castle and it's over because the dragons will get through that last air defense goes down balloon's still alive complete overkill nice work shrek nice war man very solid attacks and then builder huts good thing you didn't get builder slot at shrek that would have been bad say good job man uh, do we want to keep going? How long is it? Okay, I'll probably do eh, two more attacks. Just because this war was too easy. It was just slaughter. They were bad. Uh-oh. Drag minion with the lightning spell. Very effective lightning spells there. Took out the sweeper and an air defense. Even though the sweeper was pointing in the dumbest direction possible. But that's okay. Uh, nice spread of dragons from the bottom. I do believe that Vendor is a new Town Hall 8 also. Like, literally just got there probably an hour ago, I think. Uh, Clan Castle Loons go down. There's only one more air defense left. This base, it probably would have been better to take a Clan Castle Dragon just because the balloons aren't really going to do anything in the core. Or if he would have dropped the loons from the left side, they would have been more useful but that's okay he's still got a dragon left with enough health to take out that air defense yep even gets help from his buddy Frank the other dragon so yeah good job Ender clearing up an interesting Town Hall 8 layout uh, 
do we want to show anymore? Oh, yep, I do want to show this attack because apparently Shadow Slayer, aka Banks, aka our leader, shows us how to really deploy your spells in this attack. So let's just watch this. I still haven't watched this one yet. Drag from the bottom. I like that he saved five dragons because you don't need to put all your dragons on those buildings because they might decide to circle. Still a nice line of drag from the bottom. They're going in. There's not any high hit point buildings till you get to the core, which could be a pain. Oh man, that's oh yeah. There you go. Just in case there's any air bombs down there, he wanted to heal those loons up. Not really, guys. He fat fingered that all day. Fat finger all day, every day. So even with that, he has enough to three star that pace. Oh man, that was probably close. It's good that he got that second air defense. Those clan castle troops could have been a bother. They definitely got his balloons taken out. But he still has five dragons left. Man, those dragons are all on top of each other. Does he have five dragons left? Four or five, I can't tell. They're all right there together. Yeah, it's five. So yeah, five dragons left, and a level four air defense is all that's standing. It's probably pretty close, though, actually, because there's a lot of high hit point buildings in the center. Let's see just how close it was. Oh, wow. Wow. Barely got it, but hey. He still got it. Three stars, a three star. It's a three star. Would have been a lot smoother. Would he have had that heal spell in the middle? But that is okay. Oh, wow. They didn't even attack after I attacked their number two. I guess they're like, oh, no, they three-starred our leader. It's over. Their leader was Garbo, too. It's like, oh, man, 431 war stars? No. He attacks Town Hall 8s. He attacked two of our Town Hall 8s this war. And it was a three star and a one star. And he's a town hall nine with level ten heroes. So yeah. Uh that is it for this war, guys. And that was actually war number war win number twenty seven. So uh good job to everyone in Uncharted. And I will be bringing you guys some more videos in the future. So uh stay frosty.